competitive market, every brewer is looking for an edge. Their recent focus has been the low-carb beer. These beers come with the perception they're healthy for you. Here's James Thomas with the bitter truth about what's behind the flashy ads and the false marketing. I drink heaps of it because I'm losing so much weight. He was joking, but there are people that do drink low-carb beers to be healthy. So, you drink low-carb beers? Uh, yeah. Why? Uh, well, mainly because I can uh, drink more and not have to uh, worry about the kilos. <laughs> okay. But, um, what if I was to say, mate, you've been, you've been had? Yep, apparently 38% of low-carb beer drinkers think it's healthier to knock back a Bondi Blonde as opposed to sucking on a full-strength, full-carb beer. How wrong they are. Unfortunately, that's a complete myth that has been put out by the alcohol industry. Todd Harper is described as a health expert. Low-carb beer drinkers may call him a killjoy. There's no such thing as a beer that is healthier for you. As a spokesman for Victoria Health, Todd wants us to swallow research which suggests low-carb beer is simply a marketing con. I don't think there's any doubt that the alcohol industry is exploiting uh, beer drinkers who want a healthier alternative. And what's really concerning as well is that this survey identified that about 15% of beer drinkers, low-carb beer drinkers, were then drinking more because they thought it was the healthier option. There's the same amount of kilojoules in low-carb beer as there is in normal beer. Perhaps not surprisingly, the beer companies we approached to defend their low-carb bevies wouldn't talk. And what about real beer drinkers? Well, they suggest that anyone vain enough to drink beer for health deserves what they get. They should just suck it up. <laughs> to salvage the reputation of metrosexual, low-carb beer drinkers, I found a nutritionist who conceded that low-carb beers do in fact have a touch fewer calories. On reading nearly the kilojoule content, it does seem to me that low-carb beers have less kilojoules. Is that correct? Technically correct. Well, surely that settles it. If low-carb beer has less calories, it is less fattening. But Matt O'Neill contends that the difference is negligible. You take a regular 375 mil bottle, you have 570 kilojoules. Yep. You make the switch for low carb, you save some carbs, you're down to 450 kilojoules. Now, in real terms, what's the difference? It's one teaspoon of sugar. Which is not a hell of a lot. So, we must starve ourselves instead and then hook into our hoe garden. No, that'd be irresponsible advice. Best leave the answers to the health expert. I think if you're motivated by taste, buy what you want. Buy the product that you uh, prefer. If you are motivated by health, and many of us are, then it's always going to be the lower alcohol option that is, is a better option, or even, of course, moderation. That's why they call it sobering advice. If you think you're saving stacks of calories on low-carb beers, you're not. Oh, all right then. It's not worth it. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Merry Christmas. Enjoy it on a Friday. 